They're like 10k each. No, I'm, you're not I'm rocking implants. 100k oh, no, no, worth of. Those are implants. implants. Dude, you think you think somebody to get a feeling, and they don't move. What's up, guys? Derek, moreplacemoreaids.com. Today we're gonna be talking about Liver King and his supposed six-pack abdominal implants. Yes, indeed, you heard me correctly. Ab implants. Bro, we're talking about Vegas Party Podcast with Liver King, Sugar Sean, and Max Crosby, exclamation point. Full send, bro. Here he talks about what I believe to be the first time, his ab implants. And he, uh, I don't know, some people might be surprised, some people might not be. But I've been asked multiple times over, I don't know, the last, since I made my first video on the guy, I guess, what I think about his unreasonably blocky turtle shell six pack. Cause even when he's just standing relaxed, the guy has a very, very like turtle shell-esque Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fucking thing going on here. Here he is standing in the, uh, well, I guess maybe this isn't the best shot, but him standing here, you know, it's pretty cut up and defined, but it's like, it's, it's there and it's cut up and defined even when he's not flexing is the thing that a lot of people are seeing and just the actual density and fucking depth and just the way they're shaped. Everyone, you know, some people think that it's uh, indicative of some fuckery from a cosmetic surgery perspective. And I can understand why. Like, it looks kind of, you know, odd to a lot of people, especially at a first glance. Not a lot of people look like this. And it is, uh, you know, in some aspects, like some angles, it looks pretty, you know, suspect, I guess. Like, here's the classic iconic shot pointing at the fucking um, giant thing of liver. And um, he has the bicep vein climbing. He's got this, uh, I don't know, just put in some fucking work. And saucy as all hell, bro. And the six pack, just absolutely the density, bro. The fucking turtle shell-esque density is next level. Here he is tossing a medicine ball over his shoulder. And you can see here the core strength of a fucking Titan, bro. Here he is holding his hands up. Liver time, bro. And he's got the mean six pack dialed in and it is always prominent. So he talks about it on the Full Send podcast. And like I said, I've had a lot of people ask me about it and we're gonna get into exactly what goes into cosmetic surgeries, what's like a reasonable before and after, like what he did exactly. Um, to get his six pack. Oil you should probably gas. go tarp off too. Well, if I had a sixty like him, I'd have my tarp off too. But These are I got a little. I got a these little mini. A lot, a lot of people. Like even when he's just sitting here, you can see the fucking six pack separation popping, bro. People are like, hey, you're fucking shredded. All you got to do is go get implants. Are you like? Should I do me? that? So they're, they're like ten k each. No, I'm, you're not I'm rocking implants. A hundred no, fucking k worth of. Those are ten k each, but a hundred k in total. <laughs> implants? implants? Dude, you think? Kyle's fucking shocked. He's like, Jesus Christ, I can actually get that? I can just use my goddamn riches to go get look like Liver King? You think, you think somebody, to get a feel on that shit, you, and they don't move. They don't fucking move. They don't move because they're implants, right? That's, <laughs> Are they actually implants? No. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, come on. What did you say? I looked at him and he said he wasn't trolling. No, he's not fucking fuckers. trolling. That's his whole thing. Uh, <laughs> he's he's trolling? Jack. Did you Whatever. Did you Everyone gets trolled, you Thank know? you, but this, this is, I guess this is a thing. People are saying some shit like, hey, they don't move. They're implants. You know, like, are you, like oh, it. so they're not implants. These guys are just like, not getting it. <laughs> Dude, are you all right, all right. I was trying to get an implant. Liver King's like, holy fucking shit, you fucking idiot. Dude, don't mind I'll him, tell bro. you what they are. It's 35 years of hard fucking work every fucking this. day, never taking Christmas off. You know, is Did you hit the gym is. today? It, it's, it, today is Sunday. It's my Sunday rest day. God's plan. So do you work out six, six days a week? I work out 14 times a week. Holy it's fucking nuts, bro. 14 times a week. So, anyways, the abdominal. Do I think these are implants? What's my personal opinion? Because he could be just lying out of his fucking teeth right now, of course. So a lot of people think his MO is essentially. So what do I think? Objectively, just this. We're not going to talk about the other shits. We're not going to talk about anything else. We're talking about the core development because this is something we've actually seen in the industry, actually. You know, this is something a lot of people in the fitness industry are a bit more familiar with, and it's actually a bit easier to spot if you know what you're looking for than you'd think. So for him, like I said, it seems to always be there. He's got the turtle shell shit going. You know, is this GH gut? Is it the is it the implants or what? If you go back historically, like I don't know how old some of these pictures are, but he's obviously younger here. He is much, he's not, he's jacked still, but he's not as muscular. He's probably gained about fucking 15 pounds since here of lean mass, at least. And, uh, but he's still got that shape here. You know, seemingly the same, uh, overall outline, just not as deep, not as uh, defined, not as blocky. 
So did he get implants since then? Here's another shot of him uh, with Liver Queen, presumably, going for a nice little stroll after, uh, you know, get that uh, postprandial fucking glucose spike. You know, re handle it with your uh, post-nutrition uh, walks, bro. Here's him flexing in the middle of the wilderness. We've got, the, got a shirt on, bro. Damn, this must be an old photo. So <laughs> the thing is with this guy is, you know, there are a lot of things people will say is fake about him. But the abs in particular, I did a video on Elliot Page getting diced to the fucking socks, bro. Elliot Page is someone who has had top surgery. If you don't know top surgery, you're getting um, breast removed. It's like gynecomastia surgery, essentially. Um, but shortly thereafter, Elliot also had this, uh, you know, image come out with pretty blocky abs. And if you go through some of these old pictures of Elliot's uh, pre-transition, you do not see any, you know, semblance of the same abdominal six pack wall. You see, you know, some definition here, but it looks pretty feminine to be honest. It does not look masculine, like a deep, you know, heavy training induced six pack. It is just like a feminine, like lean athletic figure. And presumably at the time, you know, that's what was the desired outcome, you know, or else, she would have probably had this shit done already. But it wasn't until getting the top surgery that I believe that Elliot ended up getting not only the gynecomastia, like breast, you know, removal essentially completed, but in addition to that, to complete the masculine transition, getting a six pack put in. That was my conclusion. Now it's all speculative. And obviously there was a lot of news articles about it. You know, did Elliot do it? Did Elliot not do it? Blah, blah, blah. But if you go look at, you know, the historical progression uh, from different movies and roles and stuff, there was really nothing to suggest that it was the result of hard training. Like this was an old movie with probably the most cut up six pack that Elliot pre-transition had gained from, I don't know, like cutting and dieting and whatever. So anyways, Elliot is now rocking this physique and has no appreciable muscle mass development anywhere really. Arms, Pretty fucking, you know, not developed. Traps, non-existent. Quads, you know, not really there. But all of a sudden, this six pack from fucking hell, bro, like literally some IFBB shit. Not, <laughs> not quite, but um, like the, the six pack development of somebody like 40 pounds muscle more than Elliot is. So it looks absolutely disproportionate and wacky in terms of, it just does not fit, you know? It is not, it's not a congruent image of a physique. It's like if somebody was, I don't know, had like a 18 inch shredded fucking bicep, but then had, I don't know, like nothing else anywhere. Like it would just look fucked up, obviously. I'm not saying it looks fucked up, but I mean, it definitely looks off. Like, let's be honest. It does not look proportional to the development everywhere else. Now everyone has their body parts that are better than others. Like obviously, for example, my delts look, you know, like somebody who's more developed than what I actually am proportionally everyone has their body parts but when it comes to abs in particular like there is only so much you can do when your physique goes from is like the same as before like there was no actual accumulation of muscle tissue above and beyond like a handful of lean pounds or 10 plus lean pounds maybe at best I don't know like I'm just ballparking but anyways there's not like a big fucking difference between th these old physique shots and the new physique shot but suddenly there is a six pack, deep, like blocky ass six pack out of nowhere. This to me was likely a surgical intervention. That was my conclusion. Speculative, that's what I thought. Now again, in the fitness industry, do we see guys who have, you know, abs that seemingly never go away even when they gain weight and just have like, you know, weirdly fucking absurdly good fucking ab inserts yeah, we do. This is a guy named Lewis Young, and he is uh, like a gymnastics fuck. <laughs> I'm like underselling what he does, but he's like a very athletic guy who does like crazy flips and shit. And he has a sick physique and his abs never really change. Like no matter how much size he gains, his abs are always fucking cut up and defined. It doesn't matter what he's doing. The guy just looks like literally picture perfect six pack abdominal separation at all times. It is quite mind boggling, but this is not something that is totally unfamiliar in the fitness industry. To be honest, like you'll have some of these hyper outlier guys 
or guys who are just really fucking jacked and have a ton of muscle and they have so significant, such significant development that they appear to be like shredded and have like separation and deep, deep muscle insert, like fucking cuts between everything, even when they are just at rest. That is not that uncommon in the fitness industry, to be honest. You have guys, you know, not as genetically blessed in the abdominal department as Lewis. I'm using him as like a hyper, a hyper outlier example, but just like Liver King, for example, Liver King is, has definitely proportionally got more size than Lewis, for example, and his abs are deep and are a genetic strong point for him. His core is obviously something that is, you know, one of his excel, excelling attributes. So for me, when I see this and I compare it to what actual ab implants look like, let's go look at ab implants on Google. Um, it's pretty fucking obvious, like the, the cosmetic artistry of it has not come far enough to where you would actually be able to resemble like an actual fitness model picture perfect esque dude and not have it look ridiculous and obvious at the same time and people have attempted and it just never comes out looking proper like here's one guy six pack abs before and after photos in baltimore now obviously these are these are like the best examples that you could find on Google too. Like if you search for ab implants, it, you'll be hard pressed to find an example of a guy who went to get ab implants, who actually had an outcome that looks proportional to the rest of their physique. Like even the Elliot example, Elliot has a very lean physique overall, but the abs still look like they don't make sense. Same thing happens with these guys who are getting ab implants. This is another guy, plastic surgeons use abdominal etching to create six pack. Like I don't even know if this was implants this was fucking etching like what is etching i don't actually know at the end of the day but ultimately these guys end up showing up and it looks like they have like a fucking ego waffle on their stomach or something that's what it ends up looking like um here's maybe a good example six pack ab surgery but again like are you going to get like the deep muscle separation like a lewis young or a liver king you're probably going to end up with something like if you try to go for that you're going to end up with something like this honestly this was a disastrous scenario from uh in canada actually i think of a couple who competed in a bodybuilding show and i think they got disqualified or i don't know i don't know exactly what happened but it was uh got heavy scrutiny because they showed up and these are like re like fit fucking individuals they're not you know by any means like slouches when it comes to like being somewhat in shape, like obviously for a bodybuilding stage, they're nowhere near contest ready. Of course, that's by bodybuilding standards, but for like an average human, like they look athletic and like they work out. Maybe not by fitness industry fucked up standards, but like to the average person, they look, you know, like reasonable, good. And then they have these like crazy fucking implants that look just nonsensical, even when they're stepping on a bodybuilding stage, they just don't match whatsoever. Like just obvious silicone fucking protrusions that look totally off. Like this is the outcome you would ex you would see when you see like a deep, like a the attempt at creating a deep ab cut out of nothingness. Um, let's see, here's another example. Looks like it, it's worse than just fucking doing nothing in my opinion. Um, here's this guy showing it. This is the human Ken doll. Fuck dude. Um, here is the human Ken doll again. It's like you can see almost where it was like drawn on. Like that's how odd it looks. Cause again, like where's the development elsewhere? It just looks like really, really odd and not proportional and congruent whatsoever. I don't even know if this is fucking, what is this? Is this a guy who actually got it done? <laughs> yeah, like some of this stuff just looks, I have not seen one example of somebody who got it done who where I was like, damn, like this is brought you to fitness model level territory and it looks natural. It always looks weird to me. Uh, maybe, I don't know, like what is this here? Before and after ab implants. This is not, let's see. Yeah, no, like I, I have yet to see an example of somebody getting some outcome that is representative of, oh, this one looks abdominal etching. This guy looks like he just needed to lose fat though. Cause again, some of these shots are gonna be like, a guy actually gets in shape and does this fucking etching thing. Like you can see that he is overall has a much smaller waist and all of a sudden his fucking love handles are gone too. So this is not an accurate representation of surgery in my opinion. But yeah, like I do not see outcomes that look anything like liver kings or, you know, top fitness models in the industry at all. And when you see attempts at it, they're usually botched disasters that people end up shitting on when they show up and show off their cosmetic appearance. So 
For Liver King, of all the things people call him fake for and all the shit he does, I think the ab implant thing is not true, to be honest. I think they are personally his actual abs. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. This is just my like objective, you know, experience in the fitness industry, observing as a bodybuilding fan. Um, I don't think they're implants, but could be wrong. You know, certainly possible. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. All the comments help the algorithm. They're much appreciated. Like, subscribe, check out my blog. Moreplacemoredays.com. Follow me on Instagram at moreplacemoredays, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, couple podcasts. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below. My preventative medicine hormone replacement therapy platform, Gorilla Mind, nootropic formulas, Gorilla Mode, pre-workout formulas I designed myself. Recommended diet model for gaining muscle and sports performance. Um, and anything else I'm associated with, it's all in the video description below. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.